When the grandmasters duke it out at elite tournaments, they play on these boards. This is a DGT chess board and the D stands for digital. So this looks like an ordinary, beautiful Staunton chess set, but there's actually some really clever technology going on inside. And this allows the chess board to smartly recognize the position above and transmit it via a USB cable or Bluetooth to a computer. And this is really smart. It allows you to uh, instantly get the moves of, uh, say, the World, Ch World Chess Championship when Magnus and Fabiano are playing against each other uh, on your screen via chess.com or whatever uh, chess server you uh, choose to be watching from. It means that if we are playing with a friend, we can easily uh, record the games because we can have, let's say, Chessbase or Chess.com website or any other chess uh, software uh, just record the game as we are playing it. It means that you can play against uh, a computer engine easily. At Outrage Chess, we use this kind of chess board a lot. For instance, when we were doing our Copenhagen Chess Slam, uh, we had the women's team playing against the men's team, and uh, the women won, by the way, the bullet portion, the men won the blitz portion. We had people watching, we had a crowd uh, in the playing hall, but if you're in the playing hall, you can't hear any commentary, because obviously that would disturb the players to some great degree. So if you wanted to hear the commentary, you could go to the courtyard, and then you could hear Nils Grandelius, Grandmaster Nils Grandelius and uh, Fiona. Uh, and they were doing commentary, they were explaining the moves. And this was possible because uh, the players were playing on these DGT boards and we were projecting the positions up on the wall. Everybody could see what's going on, everybody could hear the commentary. So you could get like grandmaster level analysis, uh, analysis of what was going on while it was going on. You don't have to have somebody analyze the game after it's done and read about it in the newspaper. You get it instantly. So at Ride Ray Chess, we also use this kind of uh, chess board for our video production. So this, for instance, is an example of a video we did for the Danish Chess Union. This is me and my friend Sophie, and uh, we are using the board uh, to, she's showing me some positions, and instead of having to manually input this uh, in our chess program later or generate the graphics uh, in some odd way, uh, we just use the DGT board, have it uh, in input directly into, uh, in this case, chess space, and just use the screen capture software to um, capture the image instantly. Uh, this particular board was sent to us by our very good friends at uh, Chess House. Uh, so they sent us this for a demo and we're really happy about it. Um, if you want to get a chess board like this for yourself, we recommend Chess House. We'll put a uh, link in the description. Um, it's, it's a really cool thing to have. Uh, we only sort of scratched the surface of what you can do with this. You can do a lot of things. You can turn it into a chess computer. You can play against yourself. You can do so many things with it. Um, and also it's just a, it's just a cool thing to have for a chess nerd.